This past weekend, my wonderful girlfriend and I decided to go on the longest hike we've gone on this season in 30 degree temperatures. Now you're probably thinking, why on earth would you ever do that? Well, we heard about this hike located in the southern corner of the Alberta Rockies, down near the Crow's Nest Pass, where you could hike up to see a plane crash. Now this plane crash is located quite a ways up into the mountains, and we didn't realize just how difficult this hike was going to be in the heat of the day. Well, we hit our first dead end because we don't know where the fuck we're going. It's a camp, it's a campsite. We're at the creek. We're wandering. I guess we go back to the last turn and go the other way. Oh, what? Okay, so there's something important about this place because there's a placard up there, right there, in memory of two different people. And I just found this, which is another memorial. You guys look, the grasshopper hitch is hitching a ride. Come on, buddy. Here, look, I'll fix your view. Are you eating something on my shoe? I'm kind of eating your shoe. They eat clothes. I don't want them to do that. Then kick them off. E. Say it's either ass, grass, or gas, pig. E. Get off there. Hey, look, we went downhill. We've been in the sun for like 10 minutes now. It's a little bit hot. I feel like more than that. Yeah, it's probably like 15. This is your update. We're gonna keep going now. It's very pretty though. Yeah. We have been given word that we're headed the right way. We've also been told that does it get deeper? Yes. Yes. It gets worse. Lots of people on quads and dirt bikes, pedal bikes. Uh, lots of fucking horse flies too. Fuck off, bud. Oh my God, they're so bad. There's so many bugs. We oversight was bug spray. We we're so worried about sun burning now. Even think about bugs. Oh, this might be slippery. Wall ride. Yeah, hot. But we're making it. We have no idea how far we are. We have no idea how close we are. I don't even know what time it is. Check your phone. What time is it? I have a horse fly. Give me a minute. And you gotta tell them what time it is so they know what time it is when we get back up there, and then they have a mark for how long it took us. Well, I didn't tell them what time we left. Oh, Three thirty. It's 4.30, we've been up for an hour. Oh my god. All right, so we've probably walked like, about six, seven kilometers now. Which, to be honest, a little bit more, we should be at the halfway point, yeah. logically. That's about five more kilometers over there, if that. Yeah. We're always under a promise and over the river. There's more to go than this. Okay, I hit a horse fly and I didn't kill it. One minute, goodbye chat. That would've been a smarter way to get up here. Yeah, you think? Oh, it's a helicopter. Is that stars? Also a big fucking mud hole. Oh, we're making our way uphill, walking slow. ATVs pass, and we're plane bound. No, 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 no. Oh, this looks gnarly. <laughs> Holy shit. We're back in the sun again. And it's hot. It's oh, a like... long fucking time. Yeah, I see that. We just stopped at the creek. It was nice and cold. Beautiful. Refreshing. Death. Butterfly. Someone gave us bug spray, which is nice. Look at how long we have to go. We'll catch you at the top. It's been three and a half days. I don't know where I am. I don't know where Sarah went. I'm in, I'm in the shade now. Nothing looks familiar. I think I'm gonna try and go up that mountain, see if I can find out where civilization might be, where the road might be, maybe where Sarah is. Sarah had the water. All I've got is this camera, and this is my last battery. You don't see anything more from me, but Casher's out. Oh, well, hi, Sarah. We underestimated the heat today. Sun's going down behind the mountains, so it'll be better going down, but 33 is too hot for uphill. Hey. Look who it is! You guys are almost there. Are we? <laughs> but we just ran into two people on bikes that we followed up. They uh, told us we're right around the corner. Meters. 200 meters. 100. 100? I know I haven't recorded much. It's been a hard hike. Absolutely stunning views from up here. But oh my god, don't do it in plus 30. No. There's a cave up there that'd be cool to see, but I'm not fucking going up there. Um, I just drink a little bit from the creek, so we'll see if I shit myself. The plane better be fucking worth it. I see the plane. I see snow. I see the tail end of the plane. Oh, we're almost there, Chad. Oh my god, there it is. Go in front of it and smile. Look, give me the most uncomfortable smile. <laughs> Into a miserable and sometimes dangerous. Well, let's do the plane. Okay, sure. Water first. Oh my god, there's a place to fucking sit. There's a picnic bench. I've never been so happy to see a picnic bench in the middle of fucking nowhere. I want to go lay in the fucking snow. Sorry, Chad, I swore. Watch your profanity. Uh. They got 
shot at. Maybe not, but. Look at this plane. I'd say it was worth the hike now that I'm feeling better. The plane you're seeing is a Royal Canadian Air Force DC-3 Dakota. There were seven men on board when it struck the mountain on January 19th, 1946. The plane was on a flight from Comox, BC to Greenwood, Nova Scotia, and during bad weather, it struck the side of the mountain and came crashing down into the valley below. Five days later, forest rangers made their way up on snowshoes and found the smoldering wreckage, and they removed the bodies by toboggan. Now, they do tell people to not vandalize or spray paint or scratch their names into the plane, but obviously many people didn't get the memo or didn't care. But despite that, this is still a beautiful area to see with some wonderful history following World War II. Well, the speed limit's 110. That's not what that means, is it? Yes, it is. Really? No. Okay.